at this face. And look at all of your faces. The face of leadership. The face of leadership in our party, the party of women's suffrage. Carly Fiorina and her newest ad continue to garner a lot of attention. This particular ad did something other Republican candidates such as Jeb Bush and Ben Carson have struggled to do, respond effectively to Donald Trump. As we noted on this program last night, Carly was able to take a counterpunch at Donald Trump, but rhetorically speaking, hit Hillary Clinton square in the face. Again, that's rhetorically speaking. While the ad is helping push the Fiorina campaign forward, the stakes will be higher on Wednesday when she takes the main stage in the CNN debate. So what might we expect? For more now from Newsmax New York, let's welcome in former United States Congresswoman Nan Hayworth. We should note Nan and I share a last name, share the status of having served in the Congress. We're not really cousins, but she is a co-chair of the Fiorina New York campaign. Cousin Nan, welcome back to Newsmax Cousin Prime. Cousin J.D., great it, to be with you. Thank it, you. It's good to have you. And let, let's discuss what's at stake, because tomorrow night, Donald Trump and Carly Fiorina will be on the same stage for the first time. What do you expect Carly to do? How might she handle the Donald in tomorrow night's debate? J.D., you're going to see a Carly Fiorina who is cool, calm, and collected, in control, thoroughly competent, confident, and able to present the real face of leadership. You know, Carly has been uh, actually a, an executive in charge of a company whose worth, when she was CEO of Hewlett-Packard, its worth was greater than uh, the economy of every state in the country. Uh, it's an extraordinary record of accomplishment, and that's what Carly's going to bring to this debate. She is a real leader who knows how to challenge the status quo. She is not a member of the political class, and she presents a credible, articulate, disciplined, and deeply patriotic alternative to anyone else on the stage. Now, Nan, you brought up Carly's corporate history at Hewlett-Packard. Uh, the Donald has brought it up in less flattering fashion. Do you expect Ms. Fiorina to be ready to counterpunch should Mr. Trump go in that direction? Absolutely. She has an incredible record of accomplishment at uh, Hewlett Packard as a leader at that company. She brought it from, uh, frankly, it was in pretty desperate straits when she became CEO in 1999, and she doubled the size of the company. She quadrupled their cash flow. She tripled their rate of innovation. She established HP's presence in 170 com countries across the world, and she has dealt with all those world leaders personally. She has amazing qualifications for the job of President of the United States, and she's very proud of those, rightly so. Well, Nan, of course, in the first round of debates, Carly was at what uh, some folks called the kids' table, that preliminary event, facing only seven people in all. Now, Tomorrow night in sheer numbers, she will be one of 11. I know she stands out, and this may sound politically in incorrect, but it's, it's just the fact. She'll be the only female on the stage. Obviously, there's more than just gender distinction that she'll have to work on, correct? Right, and she is distinguished in every category that one can think of. As someone who has had more executive experience for more years, uh, really then uh, most of the folks on the stage. Uh, she really has uh, not only uh, spoken brilliantly of our aspirations for this country and of the crushing burdens that an inefficient, bloated federal government is placing on us, but she actually has direct experience in cutting bloated bureaucracies, in utilizing the kind of technology. She understands technology intimately, and we need that kind of expertise at the helm of our country if we're going to overcome the many challenges that we face. Carly Fiorina is the real deal in leadership, in challenging the status quo, in challenging the established political class. And her, uh, the fact that she is a woman uh, is 
uh, indeed uh, part of her many gifts, if you will, and attributes. And, and but, they, to know, bring it back uh, around. She's got it all. To bring it back around, Nan, we'll finish up where we began. About 15 seconds for this. That ad, look at this face. She didn't mention Trump by name, nor Hillary, but it looked like that was really aimed at the Democrats at treating women as, quote, another interest group. Again, 15 seconds. That's right. Well, it, Carly Fiorina has uh, gotten it exactly right. Women are, are uh, a, a, the majority in the country. There are no issues that don't concern women. Every issue is a woman's issue, and Carly Fiorina is entirely qualified to address every issue that is most pressing to not only the women of the United States, but We will have to leave American. it there, Dan. Thanks so much for your time. We'll be right back.